piece Maman that Louise made in 1999. The spider expanded to the size of an enormous room, almost as it, like, like the maternal womb is, carries 18 marble eggs in its body. Showed the eternal thread at the Long Museum, and it consists of 40 pieces starting in the late 1940s, all the way up the last decade of her life. I was Louise's assistant for 30 years. I met her in 1980. She was born in Paris um, to a family of tapestry restorers. She ended up studying mathematics and philosophy at the Sorbonne, but when her mother died in 1932, she came very depressed, and she then left the Sorbonne, began studying art. She met an American art historian in Paris, and in 1938, she came to New York to be a good wife to be a good mother to three sons and to pursue an artistic career. Louise's father famously um, had a number of mistresses, including at one point when Louise was about 12, a girl named Sadie was teaching Louise English. And all the time that Louise was taking care of her mother, her father was in Paris with you know, a variety of mistresses. It was a double, I think it was an agonizing situation for Louise. Much of the work from 1940 to the mid-1980s was really made under her feelings of hostility and rage towards her father, accompanied by an unspoken love. The early personages were carved out of wood. She said they were like people that she missed or left behind. She wanted you to come in and see them like you're entering a room, like a party full of people. The work Henriette is an emblem of a leg with a prosthetic limb. It was owed to her sister Henriette who had a bad leg. In the mid-1980s, right around 1990, Louise began to make a shift in her motivational impulses towards the mother, calling her mother's, calling her to her mother to help her in, in, her, in her distress and her, her frailty. So I think she saw the spider connected to her mother, who is a weaver. And she said, spiders are benevolent. They eat mosquitoes. They're, very, they're a good presence to her. Louise developed this form of the cells around 1991. Cell is like a prison cell, but it's also the body. She was a prisoner to her emotions. For Louise is a metaphor, the seduction of the, of the other person, of the love object. The spider cell in 1997, a series, which is actually the only cell Louise made that incorporates a spider motif that's been decked out with personal elements from Louise's life, like a bottle of Shalimar perfume, which she loved to wear, fragments of tapestry. She had a lifelong fear of the fear of abandonment. She doesn't want to be separated from the person she loves. A couple here had to do with, if it's coming from the woman's hair, which is spiraling around the man, these two people will be together forever, and they're inseparable. She was very intense, very emotional, but when she was working, she was very happy. She stopped going to her shows, and she would prefer to devote her energy on the work. So that I made a deal, I said, you do the work and I will deal with the art world. 10 a.m. is when you come to me and it's my hands and Louise's hand because I would always go pick her up at 10 o'clock is when we'd start the day to work. And she did work toward the end of her life. The biggest affliction she had was insomnia. So she would get, she would stay up for three days working, working, and then she would sort of crash. She says, I'm, I'm not going to be around, but you have the work and the work is more me than my own physical presence. 